One of the things we think about is the viral, I guess what people call the viral load, that is how many viruses are you mm -hmm. carrying inside you or all of us carrying inside of us. But in addition to whatever viruses as viral particles getting ready to infect a cell or going through a life cycle, they also, in some cases, have inserted their genes into our genome. So that the gene that we now think is ours really started as a viral gene. Is mm -hmm. that correct? That's and we can see right. which ones they are? Why do they correct. look different? So there is a class of viruses called retroviruses, which exist very much like this particle. They have an RNA genome, but when they infect a cell, the RNA gets copied to DNA, and then that integrates into the host genome. It becomes a permanent part. And we pass it on. And, and we, if it goes in your germline, of course, right. it passes on. Now, HIV, for example, does not go in your germline. germline. It goes into your immune system, so you don't pass it on, thankfully, to your offspring. Right. But other retroviruses do go in the germline. And they infect, as far as we know, all life on Earth. And so every human on the planet has these retroviruses right. in their DNA. 8% of your genome is retroviral. And we always wonder why it's there. Now, why would us keep 8% of DNA that doesn't matter? It turns out that we have actually co-opted some of these genes for our own use. So, for example, there is a, a gene that enables women to have a placenta when they're ready to have babies, and that gene comes from a retrovirus. It was co-opted many, many years ago and turned egg layers into live bearers. So without really? viruses, we'd be laying eggs, Stuart. <laughs> I would take just a minute to think about that. <laughs> really, so that's quite remarkable, isn't mm -hmm. it? I mean, that changes a lot of things, doesn't it? It does. As I said, we're viral, Stuart. You so, didn't believe me, no, but I'm, maybe you will. Of course, <laughs> of course I believe you. So, so is this process still going on? Are we still getting bits of viral genes incorporated into our... Good question. Presumably, it's very hard to see in real time you know, humans reproduce very slowly, but if we look to other animals, we can see it happening. And a good example is going on right now in Australia. Koalas are being infected with a retrovirus. We know this because it makes the koalas sick and die. And, you know, they only, they only exist in Australia. They're shipped to zoos elsewhere, so we know that they're dying. And it turns out that a retrovirus is causing this, and it's integrating into their germline. And this is spreading through the world's population of koalas. So it gives us an opportunity to study this. Actually watch it. Yeah. Remarkable. So, so that leads me to another question, because I know you, you do this sort of work, and I'm interested to hear what we don't know about this, which is that so much viral research, I suppose, is either done in a, in a dish with cell lines or in inbred mice or other genetically modifiable animals.